All right, well, last couple of days we've had a bit of a failure to launch here on the vlogs and on leaving Phoenix. I guess Phoenix really is kind of like the pivotal spot for this, this seasons of travel, so it's understandable, I guess. But today we're just gonna go, uh, we're gonna continue on, try to get the last couple things done here in Phoenix, including a new windshield. Finally, I know. No more cracks, no more tint. New windshield, let's do that first. Forty-five minutes, hundred and forty dollars. Love these backyard shops. This is where it's at. Huh? I haven't taken this GPS off in so long. Oh, crispy! <laughs> All right, I have to unplug everything here. I'm gonna redo this dash situation too. It'll be nice. A fresh start. Oh. New windshield. We're gonna go check out the scrapyards, I think, down the street while these guys get my new windshield in. Great. Super pumped. Man, I wish I had brought uh, some graffiti making supplies. No, don't be a criminal, Brian. <laughs> don't be a criminal. Never. Listen, uh, Brian, is, am I doing the right choice here? Oh, yeah. What this... do you think I have to watch out for? I think uh, I think they're definitely gonna look through all your shit, so I would hide anything valuable. But okay, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do probably. live in I do live in my car. I need to, need to do that. All right, let's go. Let's pack this up. Hey, right, we pulled up just next door, and the tire shop next door is gonna give me replace my spare tire here with a used one for thirty bucks. I know I got a used tire before and got screwed, but in this case, it's just the spare, so I'm not very concerned. This spare has sat on the back of the van the whole time I've owned it, and it hasn't moved, so. Just, just for safety's sake. <clears throat> this is for you. All right. I got myself a $30 uh, used tire to slap on here. Something just to, just to use as a spare, so I'm not really too worried about it. Plus, there's a 99% chance it's never leaving the back of the van again. windshield is in that was about a uh, hundred and forty bucks pretty damn good deal and I got new blades on it and everything it's a whole new day very exciting a good quick lunch awesome street tacos my buddy's here and uh, I just made a decision don't know if it's a good one but uh, I just decided maybe I'm gonna go get window tint done to my, my car Yeah, I don't know. Let's go check it out. So yeah, we went up and uh, picked up some super, super reflective tint. And the idea being here that it would cut most of the heat in the hot parts of uh, 
places I'm going or have been, whatever. But it'll also make it so that stealth camping is a bit easier and keep lights on and that kind of thing. And it won't be so obvious from outside. Oh my god! No, 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 no. What started as just like an idea I had this morning, or Brian had, or we both had kind of this morning, just turned into a major operation and a lot, a lot of work. Ryan is working really hard. He's, he's kind of like the tent master as far as I'm concerned because I don't know what I'm doing and, uh, and it's already like quite difficult for him and he's done this many times. So I can only imagine how I would have completely screwed this up. So. But instead of, instead of doing the tinting, I am doing all the prep, so cleaning windows and getting the ladder off. I had to take this whole back section off. That's fun. Yeah, and I'm almost out of beer, so I Oh, we'll work on the beer too, so we'll get there. I did mean to leave Phoenix today. I don't know if that's gonna happen. That was a super long haul. We're done. We're gonna go get some ramen tonight. I'm treating this guy because he basically did all the work. Because mostly because of the ladies, it's all Nicole and Mamie's fault, uh, who don't want to go out, we're going to make ramen here. So, well not actually here, but in their house. So, I now I have to carry my entire kitchen to their house. It should be fun.